What's up and welcome to day 368 Make It Songbringer. <clears throat> Whoa, what's up, Space My Name? Howdy, man. What's up with you? Today I'm making uh, the shield gate. This is the last gate, actually. I got nine different gate types. And here's one of the gates that I finished yesterday it was the ice gate. You can turn you can make water into ice now as long as you have an icy thing. Uh, still a lot of things to do to refine all these gates, but today I'm gonna go in and just blaze some new territory and create the next gate, which is actually gonna be the last gate type. You did, you got here right before the tree the steam the stream started. What's up T? Welcome. Okay, so I need to find a place where I can use the shield gate. What gate was this one? Hey, what's up, Pedro? You writing your CV? What's a CV, man? Is that, I'm, I'm assuming this has to do with your thesis. Oh, please come, uh, please hire me. <laughs> Uh, hello, Digd. Hail Squared to you too, man. Welcome. Oh, it's a resume. Oh, that's what a CV is, huh? We call it. A, we only call it a resume over here. I've never heard. I've never heard CV. Gate types. Gate types. Gates. Here we go. Okay, so we got these are the nine different gate types. There's the thickets, the bombable pillar, the fire pillar, the ghost pillar, the acid pillar, water, which turns into ice, the shield tower, which I'm working on today, the cactus gate, which you have to use the cactus to reveal secret, and the blink gate, which you have to blink over a wall. Oh, curriculum vitae. Ow, oh, is that how you say it, by the way? I guess I have heard of this before. What's up, Space Monday? Oh, is Bapu taking a day off? I don't know. I don't know what Bapu's doing. What he's up to today? Where he's at in the world? Where is it? Where is Bapu today? So that was ice. I'm in dungeon six, seven. So I need to go to dungeon eight so I can check out the shield or be in a place where I can work on the shield tower. So put the player in dungeon A, find the place where the shield tower is going to be. Here's a map of dungeon 8. Looks like there's the entrance and we're, okay, straight over to the left. Straight left, that'll get me to the this gate. Do, 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 do. Yep. Okay. Do you have experience hiring people? No. Well, no, not really. I like to I like someone to give feedback before sending it to company. Yeah, I'm not the person to ask for that. I have hired people before, but I've never hired like even sort of hired people for my one of my companies or companies and stuff. But that um, that had nothing to do with games and um, and I was horrible at it. None of the people I ever hired were good good choices of hires uh, okay yeah here we are this little there should be uh, the shield gate right here so
Okay, so I'm going to go to the code for creating one of these gate tiles. Create the shield tower tile. And at first, I'm going to use a pillar. So I can just make sure that this is all working and that I am in the right place. I'm editing the right code. <laughs> I know. Stretches. Stretching. Great. There we are. We've confirmed that this is the place. This is the place where we can do the shield tower. Okay, so the shield tower is pretty simple, but it's kind of uh, tricky to learn how it works. So as a player, you're, you won't really... Um, it's not obvious what's going on here when you first get to it. That's why it's one of the last gates in the game. This is gate number seven of nine because it's it's a trick. It's a trick to this. So what, what's going to go on here is there's going to be a little tower thing that shoots um, like little energy projectiles straight at you. And then as long as you stand there and don't try and fight and you have the shield, it bounces off your shield and then bounces back at these pillars here and then they sink they're destroyed or whatever so um yeah let's do that i want to start by making uh the pillar i'm just going to use the art for the existing pillar right here for now and then i'll create some kind of projectile entity that it's going to fire so the projectile will fly out of this this pillar right here fly at the player and then I gotta work on the player bouncing the projectile back and then working on uh, the shield pillar getting hit by its own um, projectile and then being destroyed. Okay, so first things first, I wanna get the entity started. Let's start with uh, same thing as these other other kind of gates that I've been creating. Let's do a shield tower. I think I might have already even done the shield tower. Uh, oh, I did. Great. Here we got the shield tower. I based it on the bombable pillar. Let's see if it's still based on the bombable pillar. I changed a few things, moved things around. Oh, yeah. Great. Shield is exactly the same. Excellent. Okay, first thing, let's name it the shield tower. Shilele, shilele, ta, shlower, shield tower. Activate. I guess it's gonna activate via shot. Which will be the entity that it fires. Um, we need an entity that it can fire too. So, uh, data um, weapons? Yeah. Okay, we want to copy. I think I'll base this on. The poison bubble. That's one I know. Uh, well, no. Maybe not. Maybe the maybe more like the plasma bolt. Yeah, the plasma bolt's a good one because the plasma bolt only were only goes in four different directions. And that's kinda how yeah, that's how I want this one to work. The shield gate will only fire things straight north, straight south, straight west or east. Okay, I've got a shield bolt entity. All right, so the shield tower itself is gonna have a behavior tree. An AI, we're starting an AI. Uh, select sequence. 
All right, sequence begin. If timer begin, we're going to set the target to any friend, either Jib or Rock can that can trigger this uh Yeah, actually We'll do if timer is less than zero, so we can we can have it reset itself. Just retargets a new friend every time, so it's not going to lock on to jib or lock on to rock the whole time. It'll it can be flexible about that. Okay, next, if target in a line, is that how it works? What's this word? Oh yeah, this does work that way. If target any, if target in a line. Right, and these are just our select sequence, yeah. Ran smart. Nah, if ran two, target any, if target in a line. Oh, let's count the number of if uh, shield bolts, if, oh wait, if count shield bolt zero, I think that's how. Uh, Yeah, we can count up any kind of entity. All right. If we have no shield bolts, let's launch one. Launch shield bolt. Launch, launch, launch. So I want to look at the raws. These guys launch stuff. I'm just using this as an example. Shield up, choose, stuck, shoot. Here we go. Launch plasma bolt. Who knows what one stands for right here? So I think this is a color and a something. Oh, we need to set the dir the direction towards the target. Launch a shield bolt, and it shouldn't do this again because there will be a shield bolt existent. Okay. Now the shield bolt, um, I guess it can use all the same art and everything. Yeah, this should be fine to just use that for a moment. Uh, all right. Now these might just die right away. Because they might hit them, they might hit the the entity that just spawned them. Let's see if any of this works. Hey, what's up, Jonah? Welcome, man. I'm working on the shield gate today. This is a this is like a gate tile, gate block that you have to use your shield to get past it, which means you have to let this this tower thing shoot at you and um its projectiles bounce off you and hit it so it lowers. Invalid behavior. Shield tower target for oh it's target that's the wrong format for target this is uh, if uh, target nearest friend there's like target nearest friend target any friend all right so these things should be shooting I'm 
right there. They're not shooting. They're not even displaying their AI. you show me anything we turn on debug uh, overlay permanently there for a moment permanently temporarily okay shield tower what do I need like an AI flags or something what am I missing here why does this thing not have an AI what did I spell something wrong Behavior, select, sequence. Yeah, I did. I, I think I spelled everything right. Uh, oh, it's running that timer over and 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 over. This is, I, so if I put names here, I would see what the heck's going on. Begin, shoot. And what was going on there is it wasn't even setting a timer, so we need to set a timer here. Something like, this will be based on intelligence, so if it's a really dumb tower, then it waits two seconds. If it's a smart, it waits one second before it targets again. Oh, and I gotta put the word intelligent here. For that to be based on intelligence. Great, all right, we're seeing begin. And oh, nice, they're firing. What, are they firing at themselves though? I don't get it. <laughs> it's cool to see. All right, I can turn off debug now. Let's see without the debug, this is funny. What are, are they firing at Jib? Maybe they're firing at Jib. What if I stand over here? Yeah, the Jib's way over there. But they're still firing to the left. Why is this target any here? Let's guarantee that it's going to be rock target hero collision mask. Well, the collision mask would just affect what's going on when it hit, when it actually hits. This is I'm just I'm just wondering why it's shooting only to the east there. Uh, it should be shooting to the north. get down here it stops firing because I'm not in a line anymore oh there if I go a little lower what if I stand over here same thing it's firing to the east only maybe oh does it not have a of course it has a direction it has AI this is weird Okay, simplifying everything. Let's simplify everything. First thing I'm going to do is turn on only foes. That'll turn off butterflies and bats and flies and other, all the other little random thingies. And now I'm going to look, I'm going to hone in on this statement right here dir target. Behavior trees, behavior trees, AI system. Look for that behavior dir. This is checking if it's something. This is setting it. Here we go. Let's set a breakpoint there. This should be 
should be right it looks like hopefully this is the shield tower great okay cool yeah this is the shield tower deciding that it needs to fire and setting a direction let's see what the subtype should subtype should be target there we go okay so taking the position of the target minus our position what does that turn out to be vector v straight north 42 And if I process that, we should see AI dir none. What the hell? Oh, it doesn't have an input. Or it does have input, it just doesn't have the right. Ah, mystery solved. Okay, so input. Yeah, it doesn't have any input. I thought I had a break, or I thought I had an assertion failure for this. Yeah, this is whack. Area creation. There's, there, I thought there was an assert here. Where the hell is the AI component? Am I, am I going crazy? Is there no AI component here? Oh, it creates it later. Silton, what's up? Hey, I've been missing out on, on you asking that question for a while. How you been, man? How's it going? Are you working on the game and stuff? Oh, you got exams, huh? Exams. Oh, and you're working on the game. Nice. Well, how's it going? How's the progress on the video game going? Sweet. Complete soon? All right, let's assert here. I think this is where we're creating, let's see if there's any other AI component. No, no, there's not. All right, so I'm asserting either the AI component is missing or the input component is missing. You don't actually revise right on. That's cool. I like that. I respect that fully. No revisions needed. Did you know about the author, Tom Robbins? He doesn't revise either. If you should check out this author. It's pretty amazing. Uh, he's written some amazing books and stuff like that, but he every single one of the low lines of his books that he writes, he only writes once. He never, ever goes and revises anything. In fact, he never ever goes back to a a line. Of course, that's it's you know. Anyways, have you heard? Yes, I have heard of that program. Let me brain fuck. There's also there's also other ones like that. Ob obfuscated programming languages. Coded. What are they called? Are they called obfuscated programming languages? Something like that.
So either we don't have an AI component, or or we don't have an input component. Is this logic right? Blah, 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 blah. Let me think about this logic. This doesn't feel right. Okay, so if we do not have an AI component, no worries, we're not gonna assert fail. If we do have an AI component, And we don't have an input component. Oh, no, this, okay, here, I, I see the flaw in this logic. I need to check if we actually did create an, an AI component, then just assert that we have an input component. Yeah, it uses rod 13. Mildly surprised. <laughs> you made your own recently? Cool. How's it go? What's it what's the what's the concept of your cipher? AI components require input components. Don't let me fall for this error one again, ever. Swap to back three. Cool. I think I kind of get the concept just in the name, which is always a great thing. Great, great. Okay, we got AI components require input components. This should be the shield tower. Profile name, shield tower. Bam, nice. Okay, so now if we fix the shield tower, and give it an input component. We shouldn't get that. But the concept is quite complex, really? We have to half the alphabet put A over N, so it goes from A to M over N to Z. Damn it, once again, it's still firing to the east. Okay, let's figure out why. Let's turn on that breakpoint again. Cool, man. How's it, how's it feel to be making your own cipher? Mm hmm. Cool. So back in AI system, uh, huh? I'm in the hand. Behavior dir. What? Your dir. Okay. There. It should be this. It should only be the the shield tower here that can. Okay, let's see this again. A equals Q, B equals E. Interesting. Uh, okay, so what do we get? What do we get? Um, Where the hell is V? Oh, I fell out of scope already. Damn it. 
Hey, welcome, Wolfrock. How's it going? Vector. 30, great. It's going straight up. Not even any on the X. So the direction here, compass direction from vector. I'll also even step in. Flags, what do we got? Flags, we should have something. We should have four. Well, we got zero. What the hell? Oh, man, I must have messed up the... What the hell? Blob? How do you do it, Blob? Input flags. Oh, it's flags, not allow. That's what I messed up. All right, so it's input flags. Duh. All right, so I can, I should be able to disable that. Just done dinner. Yes, yeah, it's standing up. I do, yes, I do code on a laptop. Oh, sweet, they're working. They look weird because they're the wrong part, but that's okay. All I want to do is work on behaviors today. So great, this is awesome. We got the shield tower started, so this thing is just firing bolts of plasma at me. And the point is to let him hit me and let it let the shield <laughs> Jib's Jib's like taking the heat here. But why wasn't he getting hurt? So yeah, the point is for these to now bounce off of the player. Okay, so step B. Yes, I use a separate keyboard. Yeah, I, I stand up so that I don't have any back or neck problems. But yes, I, I stand up and I have my keyboard down below. If you My keyboard's down here, right? My key, if you can see my hands, I'm not sure if you can. But yeah, I'm typing like this, and I'm looking up there, so I'm like, it's perfectly natural, ergonomically. All right, Zilton. Cheers, man. See ya, good luck with the game, and good luck with your exams and stuff. Okay, so, how do I get the this to bounce off? Oh, well, the, the shield needs a better... The shield bolt itself needs a better AI, so shield bolt. Right now it's programmed to just explode when it hits stuff. Oh, so I, I need some special logic. I need to be able to... Um, like have either have the the shield bolt itself recognize that it's hit the player, and the player has the shield, and therefore to bounce off, choose a different direction, has set a new timer, or the player when the player uses the shield, it checks if the changer is a shield bolt and bounces it that way which in fact is probably the better solution because putting into this into the ai system the behavior tree the ability to um detect if it's how what it's being hit by and if the player has a certain gear and if the player's shield does activate that would be a hell of a lot of stuff to throw into this ai system so it's probably simpler it probably makes more sense anyways pull versus post wise um, to just put this into when the player uses the shield. Okay, let's do that. So the player activates their shield. I think it's in health system. Is it here? Use shield HP? I think it is. And this is where it uses the shield item. Yeah, right? Now here's the special courage shield, yeah. If we have the shield item, it runs the shield animation and then does a pushback.
All right, yeah, let's do, um, this would be, let's just call this pushback slash reflect. This one is pushback. Let's do this reflect. If uh, the entity that we're, that we're being changed by, yeah, so this is this, this changer entity, if its name is shield bolt, We're going to reflect it back. Otherwise, we push back. All right, so we need to reset its timer and reflect its direction. Uh, Changer.ai. Wait, let's make sure. Let's just check this thing has an AI. And check, um, I mean, it should have a move component and all that, but I mean, checking for AI is pretty much the important part here. Uh, if AI, changer.ai.timer equals something, I'm going to just set it to two seconds for now, maybe three. And then changer.ai.dir equals opposite compass direction. Okay, let's hope this works. I hope it works and it doesn't dis it, it might still actually destroy the end the the shield bolt. Let's see. Yeah, it still destroys itself because it's counting itself as a collision. So we need to turn off its collide destroy thing if it's getting reflected. So back in the shield bolts uh, um, AI, what we got here? So it removes after a while. It removes if it's stuck. In two different circumstances. Wait, what? Why does it check its target? Either way, if I just comment these out. Wait, but then it's not gonna, uh, man. It's stuck. Okay, I guess I could try something kind of, this is kind of wicked bad here to do, try it this way. But, uh, let's see if we do changer. Um, position dot last pause equals changer dot position dot pause. Let's just change the X or the, maybe the Y. Just anything to make sure that it's not going to be stuck. Just barely change the Y position. And I'm not even sure if this will work because I'm... This, first of all, it's janky. Second of all... I don't even know what second of all is. Yeah, that didn't work. Okay, let's try, let's try doing the simpler thing here. And just disable this thing's remove tar. Hey, what's up, salad dogs? Ahoy! I'm working on uh, the shield gate, the shield tower thing. This thing shoots at you. You have to let it hit you. The and then the projectile will bounce back and hit the shield thing, and that's how that you get past these things. Oh, it just stopped it. And then it destroys itself after a timer. So if I took that out, these wouldn't even be destroyed.
yeah, they're just sitting there. Look at that. They're like, uh, I'll wait. I'll wait, no problem. Oh, they're not even in a foe. Oh, wow. I'm realizing something new about these things. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. I just, I'm just going to keep all this AI disabled for now and work on the core part of it where it needs to bounce. Um, so it's not, it's not bouncing. I mean, I'm setting in opposite direction here. Oh, man. I just thought of something probably that's way smarter. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. So keep I'm gonna keep all this AI code in the AI by changing its mode. So changer.ai.mode equals one. That means reflect. So as soon as the the shield bolt detects that it's in AI mode one, it will it will set its own timer and direction, and hopefully that way it's not gonna run its ref, ref, uh, explode and all that. So we'll call this sequence reflect. Um, if mode one. reflect I think that's a der opposite actually is the word huh I don't know I'm not sure what word is right here der opposite timer And uh, maybe go into mode two so we don't do this again. Uh, so if you just tune it in, I'm just still working on getting this to bounce off. Um, I want these these little these plasma bolt things to bounce off the player. Didn't work again. Oh, obvious, obviously. I see what's going on. The the bolt. Um, isn't even, isn't even triggering the shield. So we need to, uh, move mask. We should not be able to move onto friends. Or I mean, we should be able to move onto friends. So this will allow it to step onto the friend. And then the friend should be hurt by it because it has collision damage. Yeah, and hopefully this works. These need to work totally different than other types of projectiles. Okay, it hit me, but it didn't reflect. That's great. We're on to a good start here. And we need this remove timer. Let's see if that would explode it, though, the second it hits the player. It's like they're dying too fast. Why does it not have a very good timer? Hold on, let's look at the shield tower. Oh, let's look at the launch. Hey, stayed off games. What's up, man? Welcome to today's stream. How you been? So I'm going to hone in on the behavior tree where it launches because I need, oops, I need to look at what the timer is. Why is it not a, oh, default timer 1.0. Uh, I think I just didn't, um, shield bolt, shield tower thing launch shield ball here we go here's the timer so set a timer of three seconds 
It is. Yes, it's quite warm over here. Yeah, we were have we're having a, a crazy heat wave yesterday and today. How's it over there? Okay, good. It's striking the player. The player's using the shield, but it's not reflecting. Let's turn on debug so I can see what's going on. And choose sequence begin. Let's make sure. Yeah. Mode one, dir opposite, timer three. Maybe dir opposite wasn't working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't run any of those. So I didn't run this. If mode one, I mean, that's pretty damn easy to get into mode one, huh? It's just if mode one. So why isn't it reflecting? Changer.ai, well, let's see. Let's see that. Should be hitting. Yeah, we should be hitting that. Shield bolt. Hmm. Okay, great. We found out what's wrong. It's not hitting this. Let's see if we can get into that. We have the shield item. snowing really crazy I've never been to Toronto I'd like to go sometime hey Azenris what's up welcome man yes I did add the opposite dir thing but I, it's not even getting into any of that code yet well how you been Azenris Changer. Okay, so yeah, the AI is fine. It must be the name. Oh, did I not give it a name component? That's probably what it is. Well, you're in Toronto too? And now it's 65? Well, we, yeah, what we would call. What's, what's 65? 20... 23, 20? Dude, can I just see what this string is made of? Zero. Okay, yeah, there's nothing in this string. That's what it is. It doesn't have a name component. Shield bolt needs a name. Eighteen. Ah. I wonder why I didn't even... Oh, because I was moving before. I was moving so you can't use your shield when not moving. Okay, let's hope... Yes! We got AI mode 1! This should be working now. Sweet, sweet. <laughs> That's so awesome. Oh, I love seeing that. It's so cool. Let's turn off all these debug things. So, and I think I can turn off only foes now. Because I pretty much have got this working. The important part, the reflection. Yeah, it's bouncing, right? You're doing okay. Cool. All right, so if I'm moving. Oh, I tried to move, but I didn't time it right. Uh, but, oh wait. Yeah, if I'm moving it, it definitely. Okay, great. Um, the shield tower. 
I wanted to do a little less time there. I think two seconds would probably be a, a, it's a passive parry. Yes, exactly, it is. You have to, and that's the, the concept I'm trying to, or the theme, it's a theme. The theme I'm trying to go with here is that you need to let go sometimes. You can't just combat your way through everything. You know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to force the player to not use the sword. Or to use other things, you know, to solve problems other ways besides just combat. You know, we're so, we're so, like, it's like ingrained into the gamer mentality. You gotta have a weapon. You gotta, you get, you know, all solutions, there's probably gonna be, have to do with your weapon. I'm trying to break from that mold. A little. And I'm not the first game developer to do that. I'm just, just trying to embrace this theme a little bit. Uh, okay, so what's next? Well, I mean, the next thing to do would be to have it so it, the tower destroys itself when it gets hit by its own thing. Rocket Bunny! Hey, how's it going? What you been up to, Rocket Bunny? I know, I know, right? Sometimes I'm just, like, soapboxed out. Sorry. Sorry, I don't mean to soapbox. I just want to be helpful, though. Thanks, man. I got a tank top on today, right? It's hot here. And yeah, and definitely not before it's reflected exactly as in risk. And I think I'll do that with like some kind of uh, initial timer. Okay, so yeah. We got bolts bouncing off the player. Uh, but now just when it, when it gets hit by its... So... Oh, right, right, right. So the only thing that can hurt the tower should be... Yeah, yeah, okay, so it's got activate, instant recharge, so it's always gonna be, like, able to heal itself until it gets hit by a shot foe. Oh, wait, wait, I got it. No, this will this will make it totally, totally rock solid. If I go into the code where it actually sets its mode and all that, Changer.health.activate mask equals K filter shot flow. Nothing much, nothing's new. What's it like over there today, Raga Bunny? What's it like in Europe? Mm, I don't know if they got hurt, y'all. I don't think they did. Otherwise, they would, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's make sure the shield bolt even has. Yeah, it has the category shot foe. It could be hit by the top hat or shot friend? No. Um, move mask. It, it, it stops when it hits a static. These are all, this is all good. It's cold and rainy, huh? Those lessons belong in a future 80s Canadian rock animated feature. <laughs> yeah, sweet. I think of Rush when I, when you say that. I'm like, Rush? Is Rush the one that's doing the rock here? I love Rush. Hmm, why is it not, okay, shield tower. Why are you not getting hurt? Oh, maybe it's not enough to get hurt. Set its hit points really low. Weird. Yeah. All right, let's find out what happens when the shield tower gets hurt or gets hit. 
So in um, health system, change HP, this is the function. It's just does basically everything. Wait. There. Okay, so if the name of the entity itself is a shield tower, we'll set a breakpoint. Hey, hopefully the stream looks better than it usually does. It should be more HD and there shouldn't be any glitchiness going on. And you should be able to read my code better. This is 720p I'm streaming at. And so, wow, you know what? I've just realized that it has not hiccuped at all today. And I'm streaming at a little bit higher kbps. You shouldn't see any flickering. Like sometimes uh, before, like last week's streams, today, this week's stream so far before this one, it would like glitch. Like every two seconds, the stream would like glitch. Glitch, glitch, glitch. It would, it would, everything would blur and then get and then get crisp again. Blur, crisp, blur, crisp. So I think I fixed the settings so that now we're at 720p, 15 frames a second, and you shouldn't be seeing so many glitches. Pedro, writing resumes is hard. Uh, I started programming an editor. Cool, buddy. Yeah, tank top mode. Yeah, it was definitely a screen vortex, that's for sure. It was weird, man. Wait, did that work? Did that just bounce off? I wasn't even paying attention. Okay, so I want this bolt to bounce off the player, and then we'll test what's going on when it hits itself. Oh, oh, see, it already hit itself. Wait, no, maybe, maybe it just... Maybe this was always happening. Okay, I saw the players activating their shield. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so you can play and edit at the same time. Yeah, that's awesome. Nice, Salad Dogs. Yeah, visual in game editors definitely. I'm a big fan of those. I'm a big fan. My first video game, I actually did that too. Yeah, Jonah, I know, I'm cheating, I'm cheating. I got I got all these crazy items because I've been testing all these gate things. But yeah, you wouldn't actually be able to do that in the game. You, you, can't, you can't actually have an acid sword and an acid bomb or an acid top hat or whatever. You can only craft it once. For anybody that's just watching the stream, you're like, what? There's five elements in Songbringer. You could craft things and create really powerful weapons by by making them like that. I used to have recruiters throw out any page after one. Yeah, no, yeah, that's a good point. Hey, Born to Snipe. What's up, Born to Snipe? Yeah. Pedro, you just got to put it all in tiny text, man. Like six point font. Everything should be four to six points. You, you need glasses to read it. You need like a magnifying glass to read it. Um... Okay, so what am I checking for? Oh, well, yeah, I'm checking to see what happens when the shield tower is hit by the shield bolt. So the changer should be the shield bolt. Uh, I'm not seeing a title. Oh man, sometimes, I don't know why it doesn't show strings sometimes. It'd be so nice if, uh, at. At. This thing's name is at. How did it get the name at? What is this? 
It's it's already ten point. Oh. Uh, um, I I, I want to confirm that this is actually the. It probably is. It probably is. Player Eid is no, that's wrong. Wait, oh, oh yeah, the changer Eid. Okay, what? Oh, we don't have a changer yet. <sighs> okay, great. I was like, why is its name at? Okay, yes, it's the shield bolt. All right, we confirm. Okay, what happens? Are we waking a dormant? No, invincible. No. Use shield HP. This thing should not have any shield HP to use. Well, let's make sure. Right, no, it didn't use that. About, how about apply elements? It shouldn't have any elements to apply. Good. HP delta. What is HP delta? Negative one? Great. All right, stayed off. We'll see you, man. Okay, uh, HP delta is negative one. This thing should have hit points of one. HP one, but it's gonna have an instant recharge until it activates its health component. So this is the important part here, checking this activate. All right, so our, our hit points should be down to zero, good. We're not the player. This thing should have activate mask. Zero. Which means it should already be activated. And it shouldn't have its instant recharge. Flags is five. That means it's got... I wish there was an easy way to debug flags. One... Oh, one. What's that? Cool, Wolf Rock. Uh, oh, K Health. So it has one. One and four. That's damn, it does have its instant recharge still. Oh, duh, of course it's gonna have its instant recharge still. But we should we should be hitting this activate here where it's gonna remove. So Oh, but it doesn't have an activate mask, does it? Why doesn't it have an activate mask? Okay, there we found the problem. It doesn't have an activate mask. Let's label that. Um. Use shield. What's up with that? Why didn't that work? I know this works. Hmm. Major refactor. It's like a Jenga tower. <laughs> That's a good analogy. You tailor your portfolio, your audience, and the highlights. Uh huh. Yeah. Changer. Damn it. Debugger. It's not working right here. This isn't a constant. No.
sucks I have to do this, but sometimes it's the only way to get the debugger to view something. My drop. Oh no, don't, don't let it fall. Don't let the Jenga tower fall. Bounce. H. Hit point zero. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> this is so funny. Um, what's going on here is I was trying to add the activate mask to the shield bolt, not the shield towers. So I need a better way. I need a. I need a. I need the. I need the. As soon as the player reflects, the shield towers need. Maybe I just do. Well, no, I don't want the activate mask to work. Okay, there's a couple ways I could do this. The the shield tower itself could just have a um a simple little timer. So like after after one second goes by, it changes to have its activate mask. Oh no, I got a better idea. How about How about oh yeah, this is a better idea. Um, if the shield tower always is activated by shot foe, and then the shield bolt um, doesn't have category shot foe until after a second. Oh no, or until it's reflected. Genius! Alright, cool. So dir opposite category shot foe. There, bam. Oh wait, is this gonna no man, this is gonna make it so the player doesn't even get hit by it though. Makes you want to code again? Cool. Yeah, now it's just going right through the player. Oh. Or maybe maybe I should, it'll change the shot friend. Maybe it starts as shot foe, and then as soon as it reflects off the player, it becomes a shot friend. Yeah, that could work. So shot foe. Category shot friend. And the shield tower is only activated by shield friend or shot friend. Let's see, let's hope this works. I think this is pretty rock solid too, because it doesn't depend on some janky timer that has to be, oh, 0.5 seconds have elapsed. I can now be hit or whatever. Oh. Why didn't it, why didn't, why didn't it reflect that time? Well, oh, because I was walking? I think I was walking. Let the refactor begin, great. Yes! It totally worked. Yeah! All right, mechanically this thing is working now. Yes! Oh, and none of it's really janky. <laughs> I like saying that, none of it's janky. None of it, none of this code is Django, Rocket Bunny. This is a solid foundation. The timer lasts a little too long, so... Let's uh, set the timer for the shield bolt to like maybe 1.6.8. One of my favorite ratios. Do you know if you divide 1.618 by 0.618, you get the same... You get one. Or I mean you get... Uh, trying to say no if you yeah if you multiply 
1.618 by 0.618, you get about one. I never knew this about the phi ratio, but you can do that. Did you guys know this about the phi ratio? No one ever told me. 1.618 times 0.618 becomes about one. Oh my God. That is some freaky stuff, right? Is there any other ratio that works that way? I mean, it's not even the same ratio. But anyways, the two different ratios that somehow cancel each other and they both have 0.618 in them. What would 2.618? That's gonna be like, one point, uh, that's not, doesn't even compare. See what I'm saying? 1.618 and 0.618 are special. Special. Does anybody have some like insight into this? Why is this so special? No, no, yeah, those can't be destroyed by the bomb or anything else. I know, magic numbers are sweet. Sweet. Yeah, so if I set a bomb here. I try and hit it with the sword, nothing, nothing. Top hat. What's it doing? Oh, it got stuck. It's like stuck on the wall or something. So I gotta, I gotta work on some of this, but still, the core concept here is, is working. Yes, I'm checking this in. The relationship between the numbers is just that they form one when you divide them by each other, but also, I use them, a, they can be used a lot, for, so if you want to, 0.618 is a nice ratio for um, for like not quite having something but still reducing it a little bit. And then 1.618 is almost the opposite type thing. So if you multiply something by 1.618, you're not quite doubling it, but you're still you know increasing it a bit. So it's just interesting that you've got both these ratios and then and that they cancel each other out. Oh, and this should work too. I can target nearest friend, and that way it, it should be able to hurt Jib as well, or fire at Jib as well. I guess I need now. I need some good art for these. So let's see if it tries to hurt Jib. Yeah, there it was totally firing at Jib. just outside of this thing's line of fire. Yeah, yeah, it's like, look at that. I'm gonna fire a jib. It's not ever gonna bounce off jib. Is it hurt jib? Can you be hurt by those jib? Oh, let's, oh, one more thing. The bolts need to do their remove target thingy. It could be just a simple algebraic relationship, huh? It's probably what it is. All right. Oh, so to confirm this, I can go shield tower and make this something really long. This, this thing would last like forever. And so now it should, when it hits the wall, it should just explode. Oh. Yeah, right? Gosh, you express it like that, that's really, the that's pretty, put it pretty simply, right? X times one plus X equals one. Does that work out? So X plus, um, which really boils down to a quadratic equation, X squared plus X minus one equals zero. Uh-huh. I was just gonna ask that. Yeah, X squared, X minus one, right. Okay, yeah. X squared plus X minus one equals zero. What do you get? 0.618, huh? Does that work? Or is it 1.618? Then you get that. 
It should be 0 0.618. 0 0.618 squared plus 0 0.618 minus 1 equals 0. It totally works. Or Jonah's got x equals 2. Wait, what? I don't get this part. Oh, right. <laughs> X is definitely not two. Did that work? Shield bolt hitting the wall? I think it did. This is ready to check in. Boom. Nice. Boom. Okay, cool. I guess this could now be two seconds and we'd be fine. All right, checking it in. Let's add the, oh, where am I? Data, weapons, shield, bolts. Okay, so I added the shield towers AI. I added a nice assert statement so that I, I can I can know if I have a messed up AI component that does not have an input component, which I thought I already had that assert somewhere, but I didn't. Um, shield tower tile. We're creating a shield tower. Next up is going to be working on the art, and I think this is all it really needs. I'm going to remove those little braces because, oh, and get rid of that. So it was in, what was it? Health system. Let's get rid of this. And this, this is now just a one, basically a one liner to, to, to make the shield bolt reflect. Special case thing. But, but later on, if I want to make it so that multiple ty types of, uh, or other kinds of, Maybe I should have a reflective flag right now, actually. What would, it, what would it be? Would it be a collision flag reflective? An AI flag reflective? Ah, uh, really it should be more like a collision flag. I'm gonna do that right now. Rather than changing, rather than checking for a name here, which is limited, you know, not very good, not very good design here. I'm gonna make that proper and make it so in, I'm gonna add a new, a new kind of collision flag. Okay, collision, um, colliding, don't remove, track touching, all these activates. These should, these should all be something else too. He should be like, I think I'm thinking of creating an activate component or a trigger component or something like that. But anyways, collision, uh, reflect. Who wants to comment my introductory statement? You wanna you wanna share it? I'm thinking this might actually be health. Nah, just right there, that's fine. A collision reflect. That just means that it reflects when there's a collision. Now, yeah, I mean this is used in the health system. I really shouldn't put it there if I'm if I'm using it in the health system. Oh, cool, Pedro. Let me let me let me get this compiling and I'll check it out. A health shield reflect. Compile constants. Shield reflect.
1994, after my grandparents offered me an original Game Boy and I became addicted with it, I decided that when I grew up I would develop games. I've been making games since I started programming in 2009 when I joined the university. Now that I graduated, I look forward to landing my first professional gig as a game designer in the small indie studio packed with talented and passionate people that once had the same dream that I had. I think that's great, Pedro. It's very sincere and... Yeah, man. The exact value of x you were working with there, well, you had an approximation anyway, is square root of 5 minus 1 over 2. Really? And that's really interesting. Wow. But isn't there another way to create the phi ratio? Is this the phi ratio? I'm writing this down, Salad Dongs. Thanks for sharing. This is pretty, I'm curious. Phi ratio equals square root of five minus one over two. Hey, Steve Tramby. What's up, man? What's the fire ratio to like seven or so did? Oh, wait. Oh, it's 1.6. Oh. Oh. So, wait, wait, wait. This ratio that I was talking about is. I forgot what the phi ratio was 1.618. So this other ratio, 0.618, I've been using all the time, is not even phi. Holy crap. This has all the answers. Negative 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. Golden ratio. Let's oh, yeah, let's check this out. I'm so curious. because I use, This number is so... Yeah, check it out. This has got one over square root of five over two, or one plus, this one's one plus. Right? It's such a beautiful Ah, oh, there's like, you know, so much of nature, so much of everything is, is based on this simple ratio. Simple. This irrational number, this simple irrational number. So, wait, here we got, neg wait, 618033, yeah, yeah, this is totally how you calculate phi. Oh, they're both phi? Really? What? I just I guess I have to read this, huh? <laughs> Hold on, let me get that make sure this is all compiled and checked in. Um shield reflect. Let's make that work now. Changer dot health dot flags. And K health shield reflect. And then we just need to make sure the shield bolt has health flag. Damn it! It doesn't even have health. I totally should have made it a collision flag. All right. It's not irrational with base five. Good point. Very good point. More golden ratio monitors. What's a golden ratio monitor? Zyinger. What's up, Zyinger? 
Also, as the numbers of the Fibonacci sequence get larger, the closer the rate... Yes, I knew that. I knew you could calculate phi that way, but I didn't know you could calculate it with the square root E method. Uh-huh. Which is very interesting. Check it, checking out Zyanger, what Zyanger's talking about is really cool. If you guys didn't... If anybody out there is curious about all this too. Changer collision. And the last thing, shield bolt. Shield reflect. There we go. Now it's a proper mechanism that could be used by any kind of entity, not just an entity that has a name. Shield bolt. Bam. If I burn 10 picks up a monitor height, then I got one. Oh, yeah. You're right, man. I would love to see that more, too. It's probably really aesthetically pleasing. What's mine? Close, but no cigar. Same same situation here, man. Right, right. One plus over two. including its appearance in the dimensions of a regular pentagon. Huh. And in a golden rectangle. Yeah. Oh, so you, there is two solutions. Oh, see, I get it now. There's two solutions to this quadratic formula, which you were already saying. <laughs> Square root is expensive, though. <laughs> Just calculated by entering over an infinite series. Uh, <laughs> okay, I get it now. So we got one plus or one minus, and that gives you the point. So it's actually negative. So, um, salad dongs, I really like the way that you expressed it here. Because all this shit right here is really, really confusing to me. I'm like, what? Right, right about here, this kind of starts to make sense. But what you're saying is so much more simple. Um, X times 1 plus X equals 1. Right? Why didn't they start with that? Or maybe they did. Maybe that's what this is. Oh, yeah. Oh, if you rearrange all this, this probably is, is X times 1 plus X equals 1.
But all right, here's the continued fraction method. Hey, in binary, it's 1.1001111000110. Interesting the way the ones and the O's start to have their own pattern. Huh. <laughs> 13 eighths plus the sum of all this complicated nonsense. Wow. Well, there you go. There you go. Okay, so this, uh, let's make sure this all works. So now this, um, you can reflect off of the player or whatever. Now this could be reflective off of, off of a lot of different kinds of things. Boom, it works. Boom. It would kind of be cool if it didn't even hurt itself. Oh, oh. Yeah. Fire in a jib. All right, let's check this in. How's the beta coming? Thank you for saying happy play at 3065. Yeah. Um, dude, the beta's going great, Steve Tramby. Really great. The last time I did a, a, the release was this Saturday. No, this Friday and Sunday. I did two releases this last weekend. And the game is really starting to please me as a player. And being being the creator of this game, I, I play this game all the freaking time, and so I really I'm finding it pretty satisfying to be still be quite pleased by this video game. It's a you know it's it surprises me every time because it's got the procedural generation. So like every time I play it, it's a different world. That's what I love, and then I can explore something totally different. It's totally surprise everywhere. All the secrets are everything is awesome, and um. One of the things I noticed when I did my latest playthrough was that it would just be so much more interesting if all the gate um, blocks were finished. Because right now, when you go on, go on to the overworld, as soon as you get the bombs, you can go anywhere. Because the bombs are the only thing that blocks stuff. So I've got nine different gate tiles that are all lined up. Um, and uh, every single one of them is done now. Ex except for I need to refine the acid pillar. I need to make the cactus kind of the cactus gate work a little bit better and the blink gate also need to refine those. But anyways, I'm putting I'm putting all the pieces together. This is going to be a cherry on top kind of moment like either tonight or tomorrow where the whole game will be a lot more interesting now that you've got all these kinds of gate types. So each dungeon will have its own gate type and an item that corresponds to that gate. So you have to get the item and actually cross the gate just like you do with the bombs in the first dungeon, but now it'll be every single dungeon has its own kind of mechanic. And then, yeah, I think it'll be really helping make the game be a lot more interesting. Do you know about the bestest piece of software ever written in game dev? It's called Fast Inverse Square Root? Really? No, I haven't. Yeah, oh, Carmack. Carmack's one of my heroes for sure, of all time. I have not heard of this. Let me let me take a look at it in a sec. Let's check all this in. Yep, I already looked over this stuff. Simple behavior, that's good. The new asserts, awesome. The shield tower block. And pushing back reflecting with a nice reflect flag. Cool. Shield tower, bam! Fast inverse square root. A fast, seemingly magical way to compute the inverse square root. I, I love how I love how like advancements in mathematics can sometimes come from video games. This is basically applied mathematics. We're applying mathematics to video games. Have you thought about line how how linear you'll make the dungeon gating then? No, no, no. Oh yeah, so um right. So this is uh this is how it's written out right here. Um it's not always gonna be this order. So um some of these will be swapped, right? Right where I put these S's, 
that's like the swordless dungeons, but the swordless dungeons are different. So they're different numbers each time. So like um, the swordless dungeon might be number three and six. So that will automatically create a little bit of swapping in here. But I guess for the most part, it's mostly going to be this way because the blink kind of always has to be the last one because it's the most powerful. Once you have the blink, you can get over any kind of gate. Um, and then the cactus gate is pretty damn um, hard to figure out. You're like, what? I have to use a cactus to reveal a secret and then blow up a wall to get past it. Um, and then the shield gate is also kind of in uh, kind of difficult as well because you have to let it bounce off of you. Some people are not going to be able to figure these out. So these kind of these three kind of need to be the last ones always. I guess I could probably swap these orders, and that will naturally happen with the sword list. But anyway, so yeah. Basically, the overall, this, these will kind of be the same order, but the orders will change a little bit for each world. So, yeah. I wish I could change them completely, but it would kind of mess up some worlds if, like, if you, you know, if you had to, if you had to use the shield gate way early on, it would really confuse some worlds. Players would, they would not be happy for, for some kinds of players. You can go into many levels early if you wanted, but then, but they're easier with later items. Right. I do want that. I do want that. Um, and, uh, I'm going to reach, I'm changing the way that the dungeons work is, is as far as getting into them goes. So right now let's go to the overworld and I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is dungeon eight. Um, yeah, right now it blocks you to be able to get into dungeons based on gate numbers, but I'm going to change that completely so that you can get into dungeons earlier on. So right now you've got these little blocks right here that are... Oh, this is the shield gate out here. Nice, I love the shield gate. It's so cool. Um, so yeah, these pillars are no longer going to be here. So you can get it... You can As long as you can get into this section of the world, right? I don't know where this is or what... There should be a gate right here. But anyways, there, there's gates on the overworld which kind of block you from getting into certain sections of the world. But those are always going to be simpler gate items. So it would probably be like either the, the bombable pillar, which would block you right here, or the fire pillar, which is pretty, you get pretty quickly, you get the, the lighter. So, so that you can access, you can, you can access more of the game pretty quickly, and then you can still get into dungeons. It's just that you won't be able to complete certain dungeons unless you have certain gate items. So anyways, yeah, I love that freedom that you have in Legend of Zelda, where you can get in, especially the first one, where you can get into pretty much any part of the world really fast. Well, I guess some parts of the world, you can't really get into all of them. You need to have the the raft to get into that one level. You need to have the... the um, the ladder thing to get into other ones. So yeah, it'll it'll kind of work the same as Legend of Zelda. Link to Pass Reverse Boss Order Run? Oh my god, this sounds so cool too. I'm gonna check this out. That's awesome. It's not tool assisted, is it? Wow, I've got it. I'm going to totally dig watching this one, I'm sure. I love speedruns. So I'm pretty much about done with today's stream. I'm just going to kind of check out some things and make some dinner here pretty soon. Better than linear, yeah. What's RBO run?
Yeah, it's fun to see the chat freak out. Oh no! Oh, the RBO for reverse reverse boss order. And where's your history, huh? Better TV. What's wrong with you today? I'll just search right here. Wait, what's it? Awesome games done quick. Oh, I think that's the one I, oh, here it is with the chat, this one. I, I hope it's this one. I'll just, I'll click on it here on my. Open browser. There, I got it opened up my browser. I'll check this out later on. Cool. I'm definitely checking that out. Uh, yeah. Inverse square root, x half equals half of x. Int i equals, wow, what? Oh, store floating point bits in an integer. Which is where here, this is where the wicked mathematical part of it all is happening, right? Initial guess for Newton's method. Convert that back to float. Wow. How does it work? That was the one? Okay, cool. I've, I've seen this before. I have seen this before. This is like jogging my memory. This incredible hack estimates the inverse root using Newton's method of approximation and starts with a great initial guess. It's magic. It's not actually pointer, pointer trickery. He's just getting a floating point value, or getting an integer value off of a floating point value. Or basically just take it, just taking the bits and then messing with them. Floating point number in scientific notation and negates and halves the exponent to get something close to the inverse square root. Oh, because floating points are stored exponentially. See, this is that's what I'm saying. This is all based on if you understand if you understand how floating point numbers are stored, then this would probably make a lot more sense. But I don't know how floating point numbers are stored. But I'm I'm guessing they are stored exponentially. Newton's method can be used to find approximate roots of any function. Hmm. You can keep iterating the method to get closer and closer. Right. Manipulation trickery. Bit manipulation trickery. This is so... This is exciting to me. I don't know why it's exciting, but it's freaking damn exciting. You want to find the root of a function where it outputs zero. 
That was, that's what makes a good optimizer, I think. You have to understand what the CPU is doing. Mm -hmm. Right. That's what that's what Carmax that's what makes Carmax so special is that he's freaking awesome at that kind of stuff. And always has been. He's always been a freaking rad optimizer. And he's doing it now with um VR stuff. Who's he working for? Is he working is Id working for Bethesda now? Or what I don't know what what John Carmack's doing. I follow him on Twitter though. He's always chatting about like VR and new new Fendangle devices. New guess. Hmm. Oh, he works for Oculus now. Oh, really? I know. How long did he... Yeah. Did it come to him in like a flash of insight? Oh, this is how 40, 40 point numbers work. Or was he... I bet you he was he was thinking about it for a while. Like, he was like... It was on his mind. Like, there's got to be a better, better way. Like, right? He probably like researched how floating point numbers work at some point or... Maybe he remembered. I don't know. Well, this is such such speculative thought here. Valve should poach him. Hmm. So Carmack actually left Id. I know Id got bought by Bethesda and all that. <laughs> Wait a minute. Id Software has no John Carmack. This is this is like what? Wow. Come interested in focusing on things other than game development? Wait, Facebook? Wait, wait, wait. You're, you're telling me Oculus or Facebook owns Oculus? Is that right? Yeah, he's, he's probably had Foley Point memorized for decades. Totally different name. Right, my speculation was probably way off there. He tried to get Bethesda to do VR, but Bethesda was not interested for some... He quit. He was working for Oculus for some time anyway. But wait, what's this about Facebook? Necessity is another invention. Exactly. Coming back to applied mathematics. Because he couldn't work on virtual reality games while he remained at at the studio? Why wouldn't id work on VR next? I don't get it. Oh, so, okay, because he sold the company, he's no longer has control. Hmm. No way! Facebook bought Oculus? I didn't know that. Dude, am I living in a closet? I'm working in a closet, but I must be living in one, too. Facebook bought Oculus, really? I, I don't want to read it on a Facebook page, though. Two billion. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> so, there's that. No, where have I been, right? Where have I been?
What else am I missing out on? <laughs> yeah. I know, I do too. I don't really like Facebook myself. The thing I don't like about Facebook is their algorithm. I hate the fact that their algorithm decides what what is going to interest me. <laughs> oh, I got respect for cave dwelling. Nice. I got respect points for that. That's awesome. Man, it's just crazy though. I mean, I knew I knew of John Carmack when he was in his, you know, in his heyday working for basically cuz he created it, right? Maybe I just assumed that the whole time, but I'm pretty sure he created id with his brother, right? Wow. Interesting stuff. Thank you guys for educating me on today's really important things that are going on in the world. All right, yeah. So, um, what I'm gonna do tonight after I'm gonna I'm gonna close down the stream here. Uh, what I'm working on tonight will be making these pillars look more like actual towers. These are gonna be like some kind of things that shoot you, and um, yeah, they just they just bounce off these these things, and that's how they that's how you get past this. You have to use your shield. So that's the shield gate. So my my goal tonight is to make the art for the shield gate look better, and that's it. And then, oh, and then putting all the pieces of the puzzle together, using all these gates throughout this world, all in the appropriate places, and also making it cool so you can get into later dungeons sooner if you want to challenge yourself that way. So, anyways. Romero hired Car Carmack. Really? You got five, yeah? Wait, you tr did you try Songbringer in virtual theater mode? Is that re really? stream thanks again for watching everybody i really appreciate you guys as always it's cool to chat about you know geeky stuff like this fast inverse square root what john carmack's doing <laughs> anyways i really appreciate you guys really i mean that so anyways um have a great night and enjoy yourselves and i'll see you next time i'll be wizard fooing up a live stream either tomorrow or the next day i'm not exactly sure